What's going on? We back again, man. Back with another video. Today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to render your clip as an audio, man. This could be helpful if you like using a big VST that take up a lot of CPU. You know, you can see your CPU right here and everything. Um, also, just a different way to manipulate your uh, your sounds. You know, drag them to audio. A lot of people like to mix in audio, different things like that. So I didn't know how to do this for a long time. So I just wanted to, you know, be helpful, help y'all out, show y'all how to render your uh, MIDI to audio. So right now I'm just using like Kepler. Just uh, got this little chord, got this little chord going. You know, a little simple chord, right? So if you guys want to render your uh, MIDI to audio, this is what you got to do right here. So first thing you want to do, is open your playlist. Go to your playlist right up here. Right here, go to your uh, MIDI. This is where you find your MIDI at, right? So it'll be right here. You want to right click on that. And you can render as audio clip, but I go to quick render as audio clip. You can render and replace too, and that should replace your uh, your MIDI. But for this purpose, we'll just do quick render as audio clip. And it's quick, right? Real quick. So cool. Now we got the audio. So we want to go back to the playlist. So this could disappear. We'll drag this over. Drag it up to pattern one, track one. So now we got your audio. Then you just want to change this from pattern mode to song mode. Hit play. You got your audio. See, it's also good, like I said, if you want to uh, go right here and you can manipulate it. To you know, down pitch it. And, you know, this is how a lot of people do their uh, samples. You know, make their samples. They'll manipulate the audio instead of manipulate the MIDI. Just I think you could get like a different sound out of it, more authentic sound. Could pitch it up. Time stretch it. So that's, that's why it's cool. If you want to like stretch it out to be eight bars instead, it'd be real slow like that, but you could do it. You see, depending on what other instruments you have going on in the beat, you know, this might sound really good with the beat that you got going on. Switch it back to four bars. Reverse it. Then you just you can also, like I said, you could arrange your beats like this. Mix everything down to audio. Arrange your beats, you know. So yeah, that's just a quick tip that I have for y'all, man. And, and if you want to see everything right here, you uh, right now it's just showing audio. But if you want to see everything, you just click on all. And, you know, you still got your uh, your MIDI right here. You could delete this if you wanted to, and, and you'll still have you know your pattern and everything on your playlist. But yeah, man, just wanted to show you guys that. Like I said, I didn't know how to do it for a long time, so I wanted to help y'all out. Uh, you made it this far, man. Like the video, comment, let me know what other uh, content that y'all want to see. And subscribe, man, so you don't miss anything. That's all I got for y'all today, man. Until next time, signing out.